All right, guys. All right, guys. As I promised, as I promised, Mr. Market Switch Hapa. Yeah, nili sema kwamba. I'll come back and explain a little bit about uh, Namfam Piro. Na ningependa kukwambia kwamba kama wewe uh, unapenda kutrade NFP, it's better, it's better you stop everything that you are doing and listen to this. Kwa sababu, I'm going to speak things that you have never heard anywhere. Na namini kwamba kuna vitu vikubwa sana mbavyo vita kusaidia kuweza kujua namna gani ya kutrade uh, hili dude. Alright. So, tunaenda kutazama NFP, Namfam Pero, tutakwenda kuangalia Namfam Pero ni kitu gani? Tutaangalia uh, definition, tutaangalia uh, 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 huwa inakuwa released wakati gani? Tutaangalia uh, NFP report number na vitu vingine vingi vingi ambavyo tutavicheki kwa ndani sana sana sana. Alright. Uh, guys usisahau kusubscribe wakati tunasikiliza video lakini pia usisahau kwamba tunatoa huduma zetu zingine, tunatoa free mentorship, tunatoa pia huduma uh, ya VIP signal ambapo utalipia shilingi 1500 tu na utakuwa unapata signal kila itoapo leo kwa mwezi mzima. Na unaweza kutumia namba ambayo inaonekana hapo kuweza kufanya mawasiliano na kuweza kupata huduma. Lakini pia chini hapa kutakuwa na link ambayo inaweza kukuleta moja kwa moja kwenye grupu ambako utakuwa unapata free mentorship lakini pia utakuwa una unajichanganya na traders wengine ambao uh, wanatumia uh, our, our, our trading strategy katika soko la forex. Alright guys. Uh, now what is what is Namfa Pero? The first thing to understand is uh, the definition of non-farm payroll. Non-farm payroll uh, tunaitambua kama a key economic indicator for the United States uh, economy which measure the change in the number of uh, people employed during the previous month with the exception of farm employees, government employees, private sector employees, and non-government organizations, employees, we call them NGOs. Kwa hiyo, uh, kwa kifupi, non-farm payroll ni tarifa ama ni data ambayo inakuwa released na, na, na labor department, USA labor department, ama, ama idara au, eh, au department ya, 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 ya jira, au ya jira na kazi uh, nchini marekani, ambayo uh, kimsingi inakuwa inaonyesha, inaonyesha, uh, mabadiliko ama inaonyesha namba ya waajiriwa uh, kwenye sekta nyingine mbalimbali mbali, isipokuwa sekta za kilimo isipokuwa pia kwenye uh, 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 waajiriwa katika serikali lakini pia waajiriwa kwenye sekta binafsi pamoja na na NGOs NGOs so guys this is uh, uh, economic data na it's a very uh, key economic indicator for the United States na tutaona baadaye kwa nini kwamba tunaitazama kwa jicho la tatu zaidi so this is namfam payroll na when is it released uh, hii inakuwa released inakuwa released nfp wa inakuwa released on the first friday of every month first friday of every month as you can see hapa tulisema kwamba uh, inakuwa inakuwa released next uh, uh, juma ya kwanza ya mwezi ya kila mwezi unaoanza hmm? ya mwanzo ni mwa mwezi lakini hii taarifa inahusu mwezi uliopita inahusu taarifa za, uh, za, 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 za employment pamoja na jobs creation kwenye kwenye mwezi uliopita sasa inakuwa released mwezi unaofuata ijumaa ya kwanza ya mwezi unaofuata kwa mfano sasa hivi tuko mwezi wa 12 lakini NFP ambayo inakwenda kuwa released inahusu mwezi uliopita lakini inakuwa released uh, ijumaa ya kwanza ya mwezi mpya unaoanza. Kwa hiyo hii inahusu mwezi wa moja. NFP inahusu taarifa taarifa za za za, 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 za number of uh, people employed kwenye mwezi wa wa, wa kumi na moja. Lakini inakuwa released mwezi huu wa mbili. ijumaa ya kwanza ya kila mwezi. Na hii ni tendo endelevu. Huwa NFP inatokea kila mwezi ijumaa ya kwanza kila mwezi lakini inahusu a previous month 
I hope pale tumeelewana vizuri na hiyo haitakuwa fumbo kwako. Kwa hiyo sasa hivi ukiona NFP unajua NFP nini inakuwa release wakati gani na inahusu kitu gani. Kwa hiyo tumesema NFP data is released on the first Friday of every month. Eh? Ijumaa ya kwanza ya kila we we jua tu Ijumaa ya kwanza usangaika na tarehe Ijumaa ya kwanza ya kila mwezi ndio NFP inakuwa inakuwa released guys. Alright. Now let's go to NFP report number. Naenda kwa haraka kwa sababu hapo uh, mbeleni tutakuwa tutakuwa sokoni na nimeona nitoe hii mapema ili kwamba uweze kuwa aware of what we are going to do. NFP report number. NFP report number uh, tutaangalia katika sehemu tatu. Uh, tunafahamu kwamba hizi data zinapokuwa released zinakuwa katika maeneo matatu ambayo tunatarajia. Uh, ya kwanza ni higher reading higher reading than expected kwa mfano tunakuwa na, na, na tunakuwa na previous reading kwenye kwenye kalenda ya, ya news tunakuwa na expected reading na, na tutakuwa na actual reading tutaziangalia baadaye lakini kwa sasa hivi tunaenda kuchambua hizi kwa hiyo NFP report number inaweza ikawa na higher reading than expected endapo itakuwa na higher reading than expected ita indicate strong economy of the uh, of the of the United States of America kwa hiyo inamaanisha nini? Inamaanisha nini? Inamaanisha kwamba kama data ambazo zinakuwa released ni more than estimate, estimated number. Inakuwa ni data ambayo iko juu ya ile ambayo ilitarajiwa. Means kwamba uchumi wa Marekani utakuwa very strong. Kwa, uko very strong. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu inaonyesha kwamba there was more job uh, addition among there was many job create, created in, in the previous month na ambayo yaliweza contribute to the healthy economy. Kwa hiyo sasa kwa hiyo kama tuna consumers ambao wana kazi lakini pia tuna consumers ambao wana, 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 wana spend eh? kama watu wana kazi ambao zinawalipa mshahara maana hata spending yao itakuwa kubwa kwa sababu wana uhakika wa kupata uh, kipato tena mwezi unaofuata kwa maana ya kwamba wanalipwa mshahara and they can spend they can spend ni, ni tofauti na nchi ambayo inakuwa na uh, haina haya great job za kutosha Uh, kwa hiyo hata spending yake itakuwa yuko chini. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu watu wana fedha. Eh? Watu wana fedha they cannot spend. They cannot spend more than what they have. Kwa hiyo kama watakuwa wanapata, they get salary, they can spend more and more and more na kuweza kusababisha uchumi uweze kuwa very strong, uweze kuwa very strong. Kwa hiyo investors look for a positive addition of at least uh, 100,000 jobs per month. Uh, namba ambayo huwa inatarajiwa na naomba hapa nirudie vizuri namba ambayo huwa inatarajiwa na investors wengi uh, uh, marekani uh, wa, wa, wa kuonyesha kuindicate uh, 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 good nfp data ni kutegemea kuona kuna kuwa na at least uh, uh, kazi laki moja ambazo zinakuwa offered per month yani watu laki moja ambao wanakuwa wanajiriwa kila kila mwezi hii ni namba ambayo huwa inatarajiwa na investors na ambayo inatarajiwa pia na 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 na, 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 na uh, labor department ya Marekani kwamba hata kama mambo yatakuwa mabaya sana lakini tuhakikishe kwamba tumetengeneza ajira laki moja kila mwezi it's not about a year ni ajira laki moja kila mwezi sasa jiulize Tanzania huwa tunatengeneza ajira 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 laki ngapi kila kila mwezi kimsingi hata hizo uh, ajira efu ngapi hizo huwa zinakuta zinapatikana kwa mbinde kwa mwaka lakini kwa wenzetu unaona wana malengo na hii NFP inakuwa release kila mwezi kwa hiyo na zile data zinazotoka ni data halisi kwa hiyo hawa wenzetu wako mbali sana wanatengeneza ajira laki moja kila mwezi sasa hii ni namba ya chini ambayo inatarajiwa na investors au na US uh, Labor Department sasa tunasema kwamba any release above 100k and release above 100k let's say kwamba wametengeneza ajira laki mbili hii itasababisha uh, 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 uchumi wa marekani uweze kuwa very strong na hivyo kusababisha US dollar gain kwa maana kwamba US dollar itakuwa very very strong very very strong kwa unavo, unavosikia kwamba dola imeimarika dhidi ya currency zingine ni kwa sababu ya mambo haya yanayokuwa yanatokea NFP uh, na vitu vingine vingi vingi kwa hiyo guys uh, kwa hatua hii tumesema kwamba endapo kutakuwa na higher reading kwa mfano ikatokea higher reading reading zaidi ya laki moja yani uh, wakatengeneza uh, jobs wakatengeneza ajira zaidi ya laki moja kwa mfano zikawa uh, ajira laki mbili laki mbili na 50 laki mbili na sabini kwa huo mwezi uliopita 
maanake nini maanake kwamba uh, uh, uchumi wa Marekani upo kwenye kiwango kizuri sana uko kwenye kiwango bora sana kwa hiyo hata currency yao hata currency yao itakuwa very strong itakuwa very strong sababu wametengeneza ajira za kutosha uh, kuna spending nzuri consumer una, kuna consumer wako wengi ambao wanafanya spending ya kutosha na wana kazi za kutosha na vile vile uh, uchumi unakuwa unakuwa imara so guys hii ni higher reading sasa tuangalie endapo kutakuwa hakuna higher reading wala low reading manake uh, data ambayo imeto, imetolewa imekuwa as expected yani imekuwa kama ilivyokuwa imetarajiwa na tuangalie vitu gani vya kuangalia Ka, uh, another another reading ambayo inaweza ikategemewa kwenye NFP ni unexpected reading sasa unexpected reading inaweza ikasababisha ikasababisha mixed reaction in the forex market yani wala usijue ni kuseli ama ni kubai sawa sawa kwa hiyo endapo data ya NFP itakayokuwa released itakuwa itakuwa as expected kuna vitu vingine vya kutazama ambavyo ndivyo vitakavyokupa direction ya soko yani ukiona data imekuwa released afu imekuwa as expected just dump that go to the other part uangalie kitu gani ambacho kitaleta direction ya soko sio kwamba NFP kiwa released mara nyingine kwamba soko linakuwa tu liko hivi no kuna kitu kuna data nyingine ambayo itaifanya ile soko liweze kuwa driven laba ionyeshe kwamba USD imekuwa strong ama imekuwa weak ndio maana wakuta wakati mwingine mtu anasema ah data imekuwa as expected bwana kwa hiyo uh, hatutegemea mabadiliko makubwa sana lakini unashangaa US, USD imekuwa very strong in the market ama imekuwa very weak in the market afu unajiuliza imesababishwa na nini wakati data za NFP zimekuwa as, as expected sasa vitu vya kuangalia tutaenda kuviangalia hapo Let me say when the reading is as expected the hope will be on the other items to gain some sort of market direction or insight. The other items include unemployment rate and the manufacturing payroll. Guys, guys, ukiona NFP imekuwa as expected naenda kaangalia unemployment rate ya Marekani, angalia pia na manufacturing payroll ya kwao. Why unemployment rate? Sasa unaenda kuangalia unemployment rate ili kujua kwamba unemployment rate iko juu ama iko chini kwamba ime raise ama ime drop na pia unaangalia manufacturing payroll kwamba manufacturing payroll imeshuka ama imepanda kwa nini kwa sababu mahali ambako tutameja tuta spending kubwa pia tunaweza tukapima kwenye, kwenye eneo la manufacturing payroll kama manufacturing imekuwa high eh imekuwa high manake kuna watu na spend kuna watu kuna kuna, kuna watu wananunua bidhaa za kutosha ndio maana manufacturing payroll lazima iwe kubwa kwamba kiwango cha kuproduce ki, ki, cha uzalishaji kinakuwa kikubwa Uh, kwa sababu kuna watu wanahitaji ndipo watu hawatakuwa wanahitaji zile bidhaa maana hata manufacturing ita, ita, itashuka kwa hiyo kama manufacturing payroll itapanda maana there are people who are spending there are people who are consuming the products guys na kama unemployment rate ita drop maana yake kwamba kuna ajira zimeongezeka lakini kama unemployment rate ita, itakuwa ita rise maana yake maana yake kwamba uh, hatuna ajira za kutosha So if an employment rate drops or manufacturing payroll rise it will indicate stronger US dollar or stronger dollar but if an employment rise and manufacturing jobs decline it will indicate weaker weaker dollar I hope guys hapo umenielewa very clear very clear Ngine tunaangalia a lower payroll reading a lower payroll reading a lower reading is not good for the economy It's not good for the US uh, for the United States economy if the report show the decline below sasa tunarudi kwenye kile kiwango ambacho tunatarajia cha cha cha, 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 cha ajira ambazo zinatakiwa zitengenezwe kwa mwezi endapo 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 report itaonyesha kwamba kuna kupungua kwa ajira chini ya ajira laki moja ambazo huwa tunategemea ambayo ni constant ambayo yani huwa ni, ni average ya Marekani endapo report itaonyesha kuna decline chini ya hichi kiwango all less than estimated print all less than estimated print it will be a bad sign for the US economy na kwa hiyo manake USD itakuwa ita, itakuwa chepe chepe sokoni kwa hiyo uh, what forex traders wanaweza waka trade against waka trade uh, higher leading currency against US dollar kwa hiyo itakuwa very weak sokoni kwa hiyo endapo itashuka chini ya, ya, ya ajira laki moja lakini pia endapo itakuwa chini ya estimated number ama chini ya expected reading maana yake uh, itakuwa itakuwa imekuwa itasababisha uchumi wa Marekani na 
uh, eventually US dollar kuwa wiki sokoni. Kwa hii ni eneo lingine la kutazama. Okay. Hii ni eh, NFP data comparison ya mwezi wa uh, mwezi wa wa wa, 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 wa kumi ambayo news uh, NFP yake ilikuwa released tarehe mbili mwezi Ijumaa ya kwanza ambayo ilikuwa tarehe mbili mwezi wa moja. Yaani NFP ambayo inahusu uh, inahusu uh, jobs creation ama inahusu employment ya mwezi wa kumi. Hmm? Ilikuwa released Ijumaa ya kwanza ambayo ilikuwa Novemba 2 2018. Kwa hiyo ukiangalia hapa tutakuwa na release date, time, actual forecast pamoja na previous. You have release date time actual forecast pamoja na na previous so if you check careful here you can see ile tuangalie ile ya ya, ya mwezi wa wa, wa kumna, ile toka mwezi wa 11 lakini ile ilikuwa na husu mwezi wa 10 uh, 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 mwezi wa 10 okay tunaona uh, previous ilikuwa uh, walitengeneza jira la 1118 alafu forecast ilikuwa yani expected ambayo ilikuwa natarajiwa kabla hii haijawa released kabla hii haijawa released forecast ambayo ilikuwa natarajiwa expected ilikuwa ni ajira la 193. Uh, unaona kwamba hii expected ni higher than this previous. Kwa hiyo unaweza kaona. Lakini ilipokuja kuwa released actual reading ilikuwa uh, ajira, ajira uh, uh, jobs creation ama ajira ambazo zilitengenezwa ni 250. Na 50 elf. Kwa hiyo sasa unaona kwamba ilikuwa very high than expected very high than expected. Tujakuwa kuona wakati mwingine unaona kwamba inakuwa very high high ama higher than expected alafu uh, sokoni unashangaa NFP uh, USD inakuwa very weak. Why? So that's another case. Tunakuja kwenye issue ya ya, ya salary. Yawezekana ukatengeneza ajira nyingi lakini unawalipa watu mishahara kiduchu. Kwa hiyo hata spend yao itashuka. Eh? Spend yao itashuka na itaathiri manufacturing. Uh, na vitu vingine na wakati mwingine watu watakataa kuajiriwa kwa sababu wanaona uh, uh, kuajiriwa wanalipa mshahara kidogo ni bora ajiajiri you see kwa hiyo ni vitu vya kuelewa kwa hiyo you have to think uh, uh, outside in and outside of the box kwa hiyo sasa hivi uh, tunaenda sasa kwenye hii um, ambayo inakuwa released leo hii news inakuwa released leo uh, hii ya 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 ya, ya mwezi wa 10 ya, ya mwezi iliyokuwa na uso mwezi wa 10 ilikuwa released saa 9 na nusu pm nimesha convert ya masaa ambayo tunategemea iwe released leo itatoka saa kumi na nusu saa kumi na nusu guys kumbuka hii, hii inatoka disemba 7 2018 lakini inahusu inahusu hali halisi ya employment ya mwezi wa 11 sawa kwa hiyo inakuwa released saa kumi na, na nusu saa kumi na nusu pm inakuwa released so ukiangalia okay, previous previous actually itakuwa ni ile ambayo il, tulimaliza nayo mwezi wa kumi na moja ambayo ni uh, ajira laki mbili na FM msini. Hii ni previous. Sawa sawa. Kwa ajira laki mbili na msini ndo itakuwa previous kwa uh, kwa kwa hii kwa kwa uh, kwa mwezi huu wa uh, wa uh, kumi na moja ambayo sasa tuna, inatoka mwezi wa kumi na mbili leo. Ex, uh, previous ilikuwa laki mbili na msini, ajira laki mbili na msini forecast ambayo sasa tunatarajia ajira ambayo tunatarajia ziwe created uh, leo yani expected leo uh, ni laki mbili expected ajira leo ni laki mbili sasa hatujajua kwamba zitakuwaje zi, 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 so that's why we, we we are waiting to see what will happen in today's nfp in today's nfp kwa hiyo hapa uh, previous ilikuwa laki mbili na nusu uh, forecast yani expected release ni ajira laki mbili uh, actual sasa tunatarajia sasa ikitoka ndo tujue actual Kwa yawezekana ikawa above this expected ama ikawa below this expected Now, now I'm going to define this concept Kulingana na report data reading nambo ni mezungumza Report uh, number reading nambo ni mezungumza hapo, hapo, hapo awali Ok, leo Endapo, endapo uh, data itakawa kuwa released leo Itakuwa, itakuwa lower than this expected reading than this expected reading kuna 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 uwezekano mkubwa kwamba USD ikawa wiki sokoni kwa sababu imekuwa lower than expected reading lakini pia imekuwa lower than previous sawa sawa kuna kuna tofauti ya kuwa lower than expected reading na kuwa low na kuwa na kuwa na kuwa, na kuwa lower than uh, than previous reading lakini pia kuwa lower than expected reading lakini ukawa high than previous reading. 
unaweza ukawa lower than expected lakini ukawa high than previous na ukawa lower than expected na ukawa lower than previous kwa hiyo ni vitu vile tofauti hata impact yake ni tofauti sokoni so guys leo tutaangalia kama hii itakakuwa released actually ni leo itakuwa lower than expected na at the same time lower than previous ama itakuwa ama itakuwa 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 higher than expected na ikawa higher than previous ama ikawa higher than expected lakini ikawa lower than previous kwa hiyo ambacho tutakuwa tunakiangalia zaidi ni hichi hapa tutaangalia zaidi kwenye forecast hapa hii previous tuna consider lakini uh, mara nyingi tunaangalia hii hapa endapo itakuwa higher than this reading maana yake tunategemea kwamba uh, USD itakuwa very strong lakini lakini uh, atuachi pia nyuma swala la salary kama uh, sababu market makers hawana hawakosi sababu ya kujificha wanaweza inaweza ikawa 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 green hapa yeah, than expect, ikawa higher than expected lakini ukashangaa USD imekuwa weak sokoni why watasema market makers watasema ndio tumeona kuna higher job creation lakini uh, salary ni ndogo kwa hiyo you have to be very careful guys ndio maana baadaye nitakueleza namna ya kutrade hizi kitu okay So hapa ni kitu cha tunakisubiri saa nusu be there na tutakuwa tuna 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 tunaitazama tuna kwa undani. Now the most important question is how to trade it. There are so many ways to trade NFP but today I'll talk about only one method. There are so so many method. Kuna watu huwa wanaingia. Yaani akata kwa release the ile movement tu ya boom ana ameshaingia. Alafu within second ameshatoka. Sasa hiyo itakuumiza moyo itakutesa. I think there is this suitable method ambayo ukijua inaweza ikakusaidia sana. Now, ili kuweza kunani ku, 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 ku master hii strategy ya kutrade NFP na news nyingine nyingi, uh, ni, ni vema unisikilize kwa makini. There are steps to follow. Step number one, do nothing during the first candle after NFP report na 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 na, na, na shauri watu wanaokuwa na trade watumie either 15 minutes mostly 15 minutes time frame au 5 minutes time frame unaweza kanishangaa lakini use 15 minutes time frame au 5 minutes time frame nitakueleza kwa nini do nothing during the first candle after nfp report guys i repeat again do nothing during the first candle after nfp report kuanzia saa kumi na nusu mpaka saa kumi na dakika tano. kama unatumia 15 minutes time frame hiyo kendo ya kwanza hiyo achana nayo step number two. condition number mbili ya hii method wait for inside bar to form within the first wide range bar wait for inside bar to form within the first wide range bar sio lazima kwamba inside bar ika form kwenye kendo inayofuata Just wait, wait. Nitakuonyesha mfano hapa uh, wa hiyo inside bar ni nini na utaingia wapi. Kwa hiyo wait for inside bar to form within the first wide range bar. Hiyo ni condition ya pili. Okay, laba ni ni ni, 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 ni ende ni kwenye mfano wakati naeleza hizi step. So, this is your uh kuna umstari nimeweka hapa, umstari uko hapa. There is this line here. Huu nimetoa mfano somewhere walikuwa wameshaweka tayari kila kitu. Okay, wameshaweka hii, wameshaweka hii uh, 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 vertical line. Hii vertical line, unaona kwenye vertical line kuna hii kendo hapa, hii nyekundu. Do you see this red kendo here? Right? Very good. So, as you see this kendo, hii ni red hii ndo kendo ambayo ilishuka. Ili, ili ilishuka, ilipanda ikashuka kidogo. Ilipanda kidogo ikashuka. Sasa hii ilitokea ili wakati news ndio imekuwa released. Sawa guys? Wakati news imekuwa released hii ndio ilitokea. Sawa? Sasa mimi nakwambia hivi. Do nothing at this candle. Do nothing at this candle. Sawa? Just do nothing. Unaona hii news ilikuwa kama haieleweki eleweki. Unaona imeformu hapa imeshuka ikapandisha nyingine na yawezekana hata NFP nyingi zinatokea hivi na hata yawezekana hata leo ikatokea hivi yapokuwa it's not guaranteed but, but it can happen it can happen so you see you see this candle guys you see this candle imetokea do nothing at this candle do nothing also at this candle kwa nini do nothing at this candle kwa sababu this is not an inside bar this is not an inside bar it's not an inside bar why kwa sababu this bar is not contained within this first 
within this first bar unaona ilishuka ikafanya breakout maana yake imetoka nje ya hii first bar kwa hiyo this is not an inside bar and the third candle is also not an inside bar why kwa sababu unaona ilikuwa imepanda ikaenda nje kidogo ikaenda ika break high of this previous bar uh, na imekuwa hivi now you see the, the, the fourth candle the fourth candle ambayo unaiona hapa this fourth candle this fourth candle this now is an inside bar kwa sababu gani kwa sababu iko well contained within the previous candle haija break below low of the previous candle ama haija break high of the previous candle iko contained imemezwa ime ndani ya previous candle previous candle ni ipi ni hii hapa kwa hii ni inside bar iko ndani ya previous candle okay now let's go to the steps uweze kunielewa kwa makini now tunasema the inside bar will give high and lows as a setup for the potential trade triggers okay let's go back let's go back the inside bar here hapa imeshakupa high kwa maana kwamba hii wiki yake ya chini na imekupa low hmm? you can see this is like a spin top au wengine wanasema pin bar lakini imekupa high imekupa low kwenye hizi wiki zake high low unaona hii imekewa imekewa hii hichi kinani kibox hapa juu kwenye wiki yake juu ndio high kwenye wiki yake ndo ya chini ndo low sasa hizi ndo tunasema tunazita uh, potential trade triggers how how are they potential trade triggers when next bar closes above or below the inside bar kendo inayofuata baada ile inside bar ambayo nimekuonyesha itakapofunga above the high ama below the low of that inside bar you can take a trade in the direction of the breakout kwa maana ya breakout ya ile high ama low of inside bar kwa una take trade in the direction of that breakout lakini wakati mwingine you can also enter a trade as soon as the bar moves past the high or low without waiting for the bar to close whichever method you choose stick to it kwa mfano turudi tena hapa hii ndio inside bar yetu low yake ni ya chini hai yake ni ya juu do you see this candle hii candle ambayo imeform baada hii ambayo imezungushwa kimdwara hii candle ambayo imeform baada ya hii inside bar hapa unaona ime break high of the inside bar alafu ka close above ukiona candle kama hii imefanya hivi wewe you just inta take a trade in the direction of the breakout sababu so, imesha break high of the inside bar kwa hiyo you buy you buy you buy massively you buy massively guys kwa sababu market maker wanajua watu wengi wanasubiri news na wengine wanatumia lot size makubwa wanaweza wakakuchezea hivi wakakukia kendo moja pili ya tatu sasa kama haujui masuala ya inside bar and so on and so forth unaweza kaingia tu kashangaa una, una, una kwa sababu umeona hapa ime sell hii kendo ya kwanza ukasema kwamba the market uh, uh, news imekuwa weak kwa hiyo itaenda ku sell ukaanza ku sell no just wait for the inside bar wait for the inside bar repeat with me wait for the inside bar and take direction after the breakout of the either high or low of the inside bar take direction of the breakout kwa hiyo hapa ninge buy unaacha inaenda. Okay. What are the other steps? Place at least 30 pips stop on the trade you entered. Stop loss e at least 30 pips kutoka pale ambako uh, kutoka pale ambako umeingia. Okay. Uh, number 5, make up to a maximum of two trades. It's better ufungue trade mbili. Uh, na wakati mwingine kwa sababu hili ni soko la forex you can be stopped but hata kama ukiwa stopped that is not that is not a reason uh, that is not a reason for you to quit trading
Ajaribu kuweka vizuri hapa. If both stopped out it is supposed to be if both stopped out don't reenter kama hizo trade zako mbili ambazo umeingia kwa kushufuata hizo sheria zimekuwa stopped out usiingie tena just close everything just just relax just relax usije uka panic ukajikuta kwenye wakati mwingine preserve your energy for the next market guys kwenye soko la forex tunakutana na winning na losses so you can win you can lose but It does to mean that you should not trust your trading strategy. Stick on your method. Stick on the method that gives you money in the market and minimize losses as possible. Minimize losses kwa kadri uwezekanavyo. Number sita, which is very important, exist exist a trade after fours from the time you entered. Sasa unaweza kujiuliza ni wakati gani sasa nitoke baada ya kuingia? Kama umefuata hizo sheria zote, umepata inside bar umeingia, ondoka sokoni baada ya masaa manne usisumbuliwe usis, usis na zile pullback ambazo zitokeza just hold on that trade for four hours ondoka sokoni baada ya masaa manne utakuwa umetengeneza pips za kutosha na utakuwa kwenye nafasi nzuri guys i think i've said enough and now i think you guys are ready are ready for the nfp ukifuatilia vitu ambavyo nimevisema hapa vitakusaidia sana kwa hiyo uh, you consider this yawezekana hata leo kikatokea scenario kama hii Uh, uh, kwa hiyo ni vema lakini wakati mwingine NFP inaweza ikatokea isikutengeneze inside bar wala nini ikanyoka ikanyosha kendo tatu nzito ambazo zina momentum kubwa kama imekukuta sokoni hivyo na ulikuwa uko ndani ya soko na imeenda direction yako ukiona imetokea movement ya faster na hiyo usibaki sokoni chukua profit zako ondoka kwa sababu muda wote inaweza ikageusa Why? Kwa sababu many traders around the world will be taking their profits. Kwa hiyo soko lina lita, litageuka muda wote. Na inawezekana wakati mwingine wengine watakuwa wako stopped. Kwa hiyo tutakuwa na contract chart sokoni na baadaye tutakuwa tunatafuta tena liquidity ili tuweze kuendelea na trading. Guys, Mr. Market Switch here. I hope I've said enough and I hope you can now trade NFP confidently and make a lot of money. Remember to subscribe on this channel and make sure you enjoy ourselves. Thank you guys. Have a nice and wonderful Friday. Thank you.